I speak on behalf of the kingdom of God which is comprised of all nations amen what the Lord said to me in the background you see Moses he had a face-to-face -face with the father of course you know that's the dimension I've been walking in for many years in 2007 and like I always say I make myself accountable with my visitations I don't just go off saying stuff acting like I seen something and I didn't you understand the Lord can kill me if I'm if I am what I'm saying to you is not true I was asleep and the Lord visited me in my sleep and said these words over me I have in 2007 I have now given you what Moses had and from that time I start to receive the same kind of power that Moses had on his life in so many different ways to establish one was to establish a meeting between God and man uh, or to uh, establish a face-to-face -face relationship with God uh, between man and I'm talking about visible where the people are visibly where the Lord is visibly seen and the people have a visible face-to-face -face relationship and so as you know that's been happening around the world with the Lord Jesus since uh, millions have been seeing the Lord Jesus through my life and I've been arranging a meeting between Jesus and the, the world uh, and now Jehovah and so as you know um, another thing is God would always follow Moses and the Israelites in the cloud and God would come down face to face in the cloud and so ever since Jesus uh, God came to me in a dream and told me he had given me what he had given Moses in my generation these things started taking place and so if y'all will roll that in on the screen you see where the Lord started coming down face to face in Canada and uh, in the Ukraine uh, you know that's incredible you got to understand that's ancient this is ancient glory this is not normal no preachers on earth right now to this day is walking in this that God is not on earth with them like this the Lord came to me in a dream And he said these words. He, st he started speaking to me about being an emperor, that I had be gone, gone beyond being a king to an emperor in 1996. And then he gave me a series of other dreams where he started talking to me about, there's, there's, it says it's one thing to be this or that in God, but it's nothing like being his right hand. And in the dream, I was told, basically that I was God's right hand. It went from friendship to being a right hand friend of his. And I woke up out of the dream and I said, what is this? What is this? Watch this. Because Dateline is going to lose too. I don't care how big you are. You fight me. I'm, I'm talking to NBC. I'm talking to any of these evil, wicked syndicates. Who think you have power on earth? You have nothing. In the end, you have nothing. And God, hear what I say, God is going to make you bow to me. That's right, I just spoke that like a king. I said it. Oh, brother, you shouldn't talk like that. I'm going to keep talking like this. I'm going to show you, see, a lot of y'all are 221st century driven you ain't biblically driven driven stand i don't care how big the pastors are see some of you out there you're afraid of big names uh, even some of you pastors you keep pussyfooting around with these guys you you think you got a lick tail and you think you got to dance around for them and you got to lick their tail to be on their platforms that's why you can't be god's friend because you all up in theirs you got your head so far up their butt you can't even be god's friend you're a sucker. That's right, I said it. Get a relationship with God. I can hear people saying that. I got, I got to relate. No, I ain't talking about that stuff. Get an ancient biblical relationship with God. Because 
I guarantee you, if you walk in the same steps of the faith, God will still rebuke and judge them just like he did for Abraham. He did it for me and he can do it for you. And he can bless those who bless you. Curse those who curse you. I ain't lying about my visitations. So when I say Joe Osteen, when I, uh, which I, I, I love him, I love his ministry. When I say Jakes, T.D. Jakes, uh, Benny Hinn, all of them. They, God has given me authority in the body of Christ that they don't want to recognize. And it ain't my, listen, I don't care. I don't have to be recognized. But the thing is, I'm sure not going to submit to them because they need to submit to me. Because Christ gave me the keys of his kingdom. And I'm not going to put up with that. I don't need to be on their platforms to preach, to be who I am. I have established. God has established who I am. Openly in front of the world. I don't care about what people say about me. I don't give a freak. I don't care if Dateline put me on and do a write-up of me. You will be a fool to believe them. Watch this, because Dateline is going to lose, too. I don't care how big you are. You fight me. I'm, tell, I'm talking to NBC. I'm talking to any of these evil, wicked syndicates. Who think you have power on earth? You have nothing. In the end, you have nothing. And God, hear what I say, God is going to make you bow to me. That's right. I just spoke that like a king. I said it. Oh, brother, you shouldn't talk like that. I'm going to keep talking like this. I'm going to show you. See, a lot of y'all are 221st century driven. You ain't biblically driven. driven. I'm it's not cheap. What I gave you was expensive. And I did your homework for you. And all you got to do is learn and walk in the same steps of that faith. Am I still on? Can y'all hear me out there? Still wave your hands at me. So what I want you to do, because I'm done right now, I gave you the word of the Lord. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to sow a significant seed, not only toward the crusade, but double up and say, Lord, I want to show you the love I want to sow toward this relationship. I want to begin the journey by a seed tonight. A love seed. Let's call it a love seed. A love seed. Musicians, yes. A love seed. I want you to sow a love seed to the right hand relationship. Now I see people jumping offline because whenever you talk about money, people think, oh, you shouldn't Listen, when, when you don't participate in giving, that's a problem. I'm not saying anything because I really need anything. We are doing this for the gospel. I'm not asking you for any money person. I'm asking so we can help lost souls. Those that are hungry, thirsty. But when a word like this come forth for your soul, to benefit and prosper, you're supposed to sow bountifully. Sow bountifully. Don't ever mistreat offering time. Christ never did that. He had reverence and honor. Never mistreat that. Because all they say is preachers, they just want money. Well, I'm not like that. You see where my money go. I have given up everything. I have sown 30 million into the kingdom. I gave up my house. I gave up my cars. I gave up things two times. That's why I'm blessed. But God wants you to give tonight. Lift your hands right now, everybody. Say, Lord, change that music. That's the wrong flow. Anybody who God is friends with and he loves them, he's going to make you bow when you, you attack them. 
I have seen my enemies bow. And the rest of them will bow because I have the covenant not only of Abraham upon me, but I have been, watch this, I've embraced the Lord Jesus Christ in the same footsteps that he walked in. And he's going to make my enemies bow to me and come and worship at my feet just to let them know that he loves me. It ain't about me being a king, an emperor. It's about the love me and him share. And he wants them to know the love me and him share. He'll make them bow just for that reason. And that's what's exactly going to happen. That's all, folks. You gotta get on, you gotta get on your knees. You gotta bow to know that I have loved thee. So anybody who God is friends with and he loves them, he's going to make you bow when you, you attack them. I have seen my enemies bow and the rest of them will bow because I have the covenant not only of Abraham upon me, but I have been, watch this, I've embraced the Lord Jesus Christ in the same footsteps that he walked in. And he's going to make my enemies bow to me and come and worship at my feet. Just to let them know that he loves me. It ain't about me being a king, an emperor. It's about the love me and him share. And he wants them to know the love me and him share. He'll make them bow just for that reason. And that's what's exactly going to happen. That's all, folks. I release this word now. Everybody tonight who sows a significant seed into this ministry, I speak a word in faith over you. If you'll be obedient and sow a sacrificial seed, I mean every last one of you watching on Facebook, on Zoom, on Periscope, on YouTube. If you'll go to my page, if you'll go to the Cash app, if you'll go to my website, if you'll go and sow a significant seed tonight, a sacrificial seed, I speak over your life. That God will release heaven over your life. Heavens will open over you. And not only your finances will be blessed. It says the fruit of your womb will be blessed. Your children will be blessed. Your house will be blessed. Come on, your whole family will be blessed. Your mom and your dad will be blessed. Bro, shikata. Your cousins, your uncles, your relatives will be blessed. Your businesses will be blessed. You understand? God is going to increase you. If you believe the word of this prophet tonight according to the word of the lord if you believe without seeing and you do what i tell you god is going to bless you now i gotta go because god don't want me to stay on that much longer i usually raise the offering for you to give but i'm not going to even waste time you got to move on this now you got to obey god in jesus name now to next time i love you Facebook post. Don't go to hell over Facebook Live. Quit blaspheming people. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Just because you're taking prescription drugs and a doctor signing off on it don't mean it's right. <laughs> Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education and research. Fair use is not an infringement of copyright. All my content is found on the public domain.
I follow the fair use dealings and fair use guidelines with my opinions and news that I report to my subscribers about the topic of Apostle David E. Taylor and the JMMI cult.